Hi there, Marika from Milano, Australia. Just thought I'd do a quick video on hand washing. But instead of me doing the hand washing for you, I'm going to show you a little tool that you can actually access off the net. St John's First Aid have a how to wash your hands correctly PDF. So I would suggest you actually print it off, put it around your sinks in your house to remind everybody of the correct procedure to wash your hands. Now I've been into many public toilets over the years in my lifetime and I've actually taken notice of how many people only trickily wash their hands, they don't do it properly, and then they slap it on their clothes to dry them off. No people, that doesn't work. When you wash your hands properly, you need to take at least 20 seconds, good quality seconds, like one, two, three, not one, two, three, four, 10, 20. Or hum, happy birthday to you or me, something like that. But make it a really quality routine so that you can ensure that you're killing microbes, particularly in this current state. Now, I always use either a body hand wash, like a good quality one, um, or a block of soap. Can't go wrong. When you use the soap to wash your hands, you go through the correct process and then you dry your hands properly. Don't dry them on your clothes because there could be other microbes on them. And then you touch your face, bang, especially in your eyes and the mucous membranes, you don't want that. So washing hands is really important. Sanitizing, we have a sanitizer. And of course, finishing off with a repair cream. This is an ultra repair cream. Now, the reason I suggest that you use a cream after is because the state of that that we're in now of people constantly washing and obsessing over their hand hygiene is creating problems. I had a lot of people contact me about splits in their skin, nails cracking, their quicks are breaking, their hands are super dry, they're actually having other issues with their hands. Because what happens when you use sanitizers that contain a 60 plus percent alcohol content they do actually they do have a tendency to dry and irritate they can co cause contact dermatitis for some people bring out eczema there's a whole array of things that can happen and it can bring you know damage the skin and reduce the effectiveness of the barrier of the skin and i've actually sent out a, an email to people about what what damage it can do so the suggestion is wash your hands dry them properly use your sanitizer let that dry, follow up by moisturizer, happy days. If you have any questions, DM me. Also too, we have a special going at the moment on our Ultra Repair Cream. There's a lot of people needing it at the moment. It's a coupon that you can use on our website, Taz Life 20. Check out our campaign that's got one of the posts on Facebook called MailChimp. That way you can directly link to the Ultra Repair Cream. Uh, the coupon will give you 20% discount until midnight Monday. Other than that, have a lovely afternoon. Be well, stay safe, and until next time, take care.